Nuclear power. What is it? Is it a solution to climate change? And is it safe? Nuclear power is the result of work by scientists during World War II. The main effort was on developing an atomic bomb, with the first atomic explosion, the Trinity Test, occurring in New Mexico in 1945. After the end of World War II, use of nuclear energy to produce electricity was first demonstrated in Idaho in 1951, connected to the electrical grid in the Soviet Union in 1954, and the first commercial nuclear station started in the UK in 1956. Commercial nuclear power then took off in the 1950s and 60s, with plants becoming larger and more powerful. Today there are over 400 operating reactors worldwide, providing around 10% of the world's electricity. Nuclear energy is created by splitting heavy atoms, like uranium, into smaller elements and releasing energy. Some of these smaller particles then collide with other nearby uranium atoms and the cycle will continue. This is the nuclear chain reaction, or fission. In a nuclear bomb, this reaction is done quickly, within less than a second, to release as much energy as possible and make as big an explosion as possible. In a nuclear power plant, the reaction is done much, much more slowly, over months or years, to produce a sustainable level of heat that can be used to make electricity. And since we can pack a lot of atoms into a single nuclear reactor, this allows them to make so much energy over such a long period of time. Nuclear plants then take the heat to boil water, turn it into steam, and turn an electrical generator. This isn't significantly different from how other power plants work. The heat source could be anything, coal, oil, natural gas, nuclear, and sometimes solar. Nuclear energy is just another way to boil water and make electricity. The most common type of nuclear plant is actually based on the same reactors used in nuclear submarines, only much larger. These are what are known as pressurized water reactors. Now, they're not particularly complex or efficient, but they are available, they do work, and they're not too expensive. And that's why they account for almost 70% of the operating reactors worldwide. There are more efficient and improved designs, but no one has built them yet on any large scale. If you're a government and you have $10 billion to spend on an infrastructure project, you really need to be sure that it's going to work and not end up being a waste of money. You do the sensible thing and build what you know will work. So, does nuclear energy have what it takes to power our world, or is it just an outdated technology better left in the past? Click on these videos to hear both sides of the argument. If you found this useful, please consider liking or subscribing, all that good stuff. It really helps me know what to do to improve the content of this channel. And thanks for watching.